I am here with Bob Racine, the creator of Alchemy of Beauty. So, how would you identify yourself? Are you an artist? Are you a hairstylist? Are you... What's the deal? My place as creator, maybe, or designer is more of a suiting title if we want to uh, make a title of something as, I think, me as in the role of hairdresser has been in how I perceive, basically, hair as a fabric. Uh, another medium to uh, manipulate. So a typical day for you, you're working with Mario Sorrenti, you're working, tell us about your collaborations, both in the book and in your daily life. Well, all of my collaborations in the fashion business, I've been fortunate enough to work with some of the greatest photographers, possibly of all time, uh, from Horst to Avedon and Penn, and, Helmut Newton being always in the moment. Mario Sorrenti and me have had a very interesting uh, collaboration in the last 10 years because we both view what we do as something more than possibly just fashion or image or uh, you know our interest in the mystery of uh, beauty. So on a, on a typical photo shoot with Mario Sorrenti for example you would be there, you would, the, the makeup people would be there, he would be there and how does it work that kind of collaboration where you end up with this kind of incredible, bizarre, fabulous image. I always have myself in my collaborations uh, aligned myself with a photographer in the sense that, you know, I think it's a, a hard thing to do every day to come in with a new hairdresser or a new photographer and explain yourself and your point of view. You need a gang, you see. Mm. Uh, I think anyone in our business who's really saying something uh, has that gang. So you're working at the sort of extreme margin of high, high fashion couture where you're creating sublime images because for most people they would never really get the opportunity to be in that kind of context. So it's, you live in this sort of rarefied world of creativity. Well, I, th I think that, you know, first and foremost, I think that when you do something for a long time, I think it, you reach a point that it's only the abstract that actually really makes sense to you. You know, I think how many times can you, uh, in my profession, say, do a blow dry or a flip or, or something like that before it becomes a job? Yeah. See? And I'm not interested in a job, and I never have been. You search and you find different levels, and you, and you start to realize that after a point that it's only truly the abstract uh, that actually really fulfills and makes sense.